Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my video. So, oh man. So, I'm in a situation right now. Uh, so basically, I, I, I was driving, got a phone call, pulled over. Pulled over. Man, I was driving home. I pulled over because the conversation was getting long-winded. I had him on speakerphone and... That conversation lasted about 45 minutes. Had the car off. Turned the car off. I don't know why I did that. Turned the car off. And try to turn the car back on. And nothing. Nothing. Uh, I'm about like I'm a mile away from, from home. I mean, I'm glad I'm on the side of the road instead of on the road. But still... Um, I my my car is not starting and it is this situation sucks because I gotta get home. So basically, this is not the first time I've had this situation. I've had this situation maybe like twice, twice in the last two months, and every time I try to start it, it eventually started up. It eventually started up. But this time, I tried starting like 15 times and nothing. I just keep on trying to start 15 times, nothing. I just hear, keep on hearing click. Every time I try to start up, I just hear a click. So I'm like, okay, okay, probably the battery. So I got out and uh, put my headlights on. My headlights are pretty bright. My headlights are pretty bright. So, I'm thinking to myself, I'm thinking to myself, I can't really tell whether it's the headlights that's actually, you know, whether the battery is the situation, um, why I'm in this situation. I was, I was thinking to myself, maybe the battery is, is, is the reason why I'm in this situation. Man, I'm actually just, I want to get back home, man, because... Anyway, I can't really tell for a hundred percent whether the battery was was the issue. So, what I did was I went to the back and I got my my jumper pack that I bought a couple weeks ago. Um, it's charged up seventy five percent, good enough. I popped it on, tried to start it, nothing. Same situation. All the lights work, the radio works, blow motor works, everything. In the car works, including the alarm, and I can't get the car started. So basically, what happens is, um, what happens is I can't get the car started. Um, so anyway, I was thinking to myself, why is this car not starting? And I noticed that the terminals were really dirty. So I I, I went to the deli around here. I got a can of Coke, pretty much poured Coke on the terminal itself. Took some paper towel, wiped it. It looked pretty clean. Um, it fizzled, sizzled, fizzled a bit. It looked pretty clean. I thought I pretty much cleaned it up. And went back to my car, tried to start it. Nothing happened. Okay, so I was thinking, jumper pack at 75%, even if it was weak, it should have, I should have at least heard like a weak start or something like that. A weak crank. Did not hear a crank, did not hear anything. No weak crank, nothing, just a click. So at that point, I was thinking, okay, fine. It was just a click. I can't really get somebody to, um, to jump my car because they'd have to double park. I'm actually on the street. Um, I actually asked a couple of people, but that's not going to work, man. None of them have other jumper packs on them. And uh, they're not going to risk their car <clears throat> just to give me a jump on the street. So, that sucks. I mean, I, I, I can't say 100% it's not the battery, but still. So, so I'm thinking about other stuff. Other stuff, like, what could be causing it? Could, be, could it be the alternator? Um, I don't think it's the alternator because when I put the battery pack to it, power pack to it, um, the car should have just started up. 
And once I took the cables off, the car would have died out. Then, and at that point, I, I would know that was the alternator. Because normally the alternator dies out when your engine's on. Whether whether you're driving on the road, idling, whatever. Normally, that's when the alternator goes out on you. But in this situation, um, you know, my car wasn't on at all. And and putting the battery pack on it, it would it should it should have just cranked the car up and and, and it would have run, it would have ran until I took the battery pack off, I think. But okay, figure out that that's probably not the battery, probably not the uh, jumper cables. What else could it be? Um, I was looking at the fuses and the relay, so I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna Google what the relay is. I Googled where the relay is in the fuse box. Um, I pretty much swapped out. Because I couldn't actually do any tests. I, I swapped out the relay uh, with another relay with the same uh, number. The same serial item number. Serial number or whatever. Swapped it out. Hopefully, was hoping that would start. It didn't start. And um, I couldn't... Unfortunately, I can't say 100% that it was not the relay. Because what if... What if that other relay I had, um, you know, what if I took, what if the relay to the star was bad and I took that relay and, and, and swapped it out and instead of started being bad, what about, what if it was the cost computer that, that, that bad relay was, you know, I switched out for, if you guys understand that, but, <clears throat> but I don't think it's the relay re reason being is that. I mean, I was hoping it was a relay because I, I could just maybe you you to AutoZone to get get the relay and pop it in. But I don't think it's a relay because I actually do hear click. Um, when I try to start the car, I do hear click. It does click. So normally, if it's clicking, it means that either the relay is clicking or the starter solenoid noise clicking. And normally, um, with those situations, um, it, there's electricity relaying, for lack of a better word, from the relay. From the battery to the relay to the starter. It's just that the star motor is just not engaging. Alright. So I was thinking to myself. Okay. Okay. Probably not the relay at this point. I was looking at the fuses. A couple of the fuses. Uh, I, I had a flashlight. Looked at the fuses. Just to see if there's any burnt out fuses. Didn't see any burnt out fuses. But at that point I was thinking to myself. I've had situations where my fuse blew and my car wouldn't start. Those two situations were as follows. All right. One of those situations, I had no electricity in the car whatsoever. Um, and I uh, found out that it was the relay that connected to the... It was a main relay. It's the one number one main relay on the fuse box that connected from the... Bad, from the uh, battery to the fuse box itself once I swapped that out the car started no problem unfortunately here and I'm saying unfortunately because if that was the case I would just be able to just swap out the relay unfortunately here that's not the case because I am getting electricity all over everything is, is works everything works except the car's not cracking so that's not the problem and then the other situation I had with the with the relay issue was um, the car would crank, it wouldn't crank over, it wouldn't start, it would crank, it wouldn't start over, it wouldn't, it wouldn't crank. I mean, it would crank, it wouldn't, it wouldn't start, it wouldn't turn over. That relay, as far as that, that issue was concerned, um, it was, it was, um, what was it? It was the fuel pump. I think it was the fuel pump. Fuse? Sorry. I keep on getting the relays and fuses mixed up, but it was a few... It was a fuse. I'm talking about fuses right now. It's the, it's the fuel pump fuse that was blown. Okay, main re main fuse. <laughs> oh, man. I had a long day, guys. <clears throat> main fuse. And I'm actually doing this while waiting. I'm waiting for um, autos uh, for Triple uh, A to pick me up. And they're supposed to be here probably within the next 30 minutes, hopefully. But I'm just going to put this video out anyway. <clears throat> um. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to the dunk and get get some eat. I haven't eaten, eaten anything all day, but but let me let me just finish this video up. Basically, the the fuse that I had with the, with the other issue where the car would crank, but it wouldn't crank over. It was either the it was a it was a fuse to the to, to, to the fuse uh, fuel pump. 
fuse to the fuel pump. Either that or it was the, the, the fuse to the car's computer. All right. However, this is not the case here because this car is not cranking at all. It's not cranking. So I know it couldn't be any of those other fuses. Now, it could be another fuse, but I don't have a fuse tested to test it out, so I can't tell 100%. Right now, I'm thinking it's probably the starter. Um, that's what I thought to begin with. I'm, I'm hoping. I was hoping not. Reason being is that it kind of it would really suck if it if it was the starter, because I replaced that starter like six months ago. I replaced that starter six months ago, and I probably put in like maybe like eight thousand miles on it over the last six months, and it would disappoint me greatly to know that the starter is the issue here because I had the same issue six seven months ago and now i'm sitting here with a with a starter that's that's no longer older than six months but i will say it was a refurbished starter i bought from autozone for 150 probably should have just shelled out the 300 for a brand new one they're all warranted lifetime warranted or whatever but 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 here's the thing about it um i had this conversation i think with with uh, with somebody a while back as far as refurbished stuff is concerned refurbished starters refurbished alternators whatever it is that's refurbished what they do with these mechanical parts is they'll just swap out the part they'll just swap out the part that um, that that's broken they won't replace everything on 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 either the alternator starter or whatever all right so what you're getting is a starter with you know, a part that's brand new on it and everything else has, you know, 150,000 miles on it or whatever it is that, whatever miles you had when you gave it to them. So that really kind of sucks. Um, I'm hoping that's not the issue here. Now, granted, I have had issues in the past where my alternator was a refurbished alternator and right from the start it was having issues, didn't figure that out until, until you know, I did um, an alternator test as far as trying to figure out what the voltage is on the alternator, tested that out and figured out that the alternator was the issue. Had to replace that within three months of having uh, it put in. But um, as far as this issue is concerned, um, I could go out and possibly try to knock on the starter and see if that actually starts up. But it's cold out and... I already caught triple A, so I'm not going to do that. Thinking about that, I'm probably not going to do that right now. But uh, I'm going to keep you guys updated. Um, thanks for watching this video. I'm going to keep you guys updated on this issue. All right, guys. So it actually took triple A like two hours to get to me. Um, and got my car towed to my house. And uh, I actually did the test on the relays, had to buy a brand new relay from AutoZone, popped it in, and <clears throat> uh, that didn't change anything. Tested out all the fuses, that didn't, test, that didn't change anything. Cleaned out all the terminals, cleaned out my negative line, popped it back in, everything's all clean, nice, clean, put it back in, nothing. So what I ended up doing was I ended up, you know, taking all the parts out, got to the starter um, before I unbolted it I actually hooked up a line from the battery to the um, the terminal of the solenoid try to jump it try to see if there's anything it was moving or not nothing happened so at that point I knew it was the starter at that point I knew it was the starter I took the starter out took the starter out um, went back to AutoZone told them about the situation I basically had a couple of words for them telling them, um, your, your stuff sucks, but they don't actually build the starters. They actually just sell them. So I, I you know, went nowhere with that. Um, I was hoping to get a brand new starter out of that situation. A brand new starter, not a refurbished starter, a brand new starter. I was hoping to get a brand new starter from that situation, but wasn't able to convince them to do it. So I actually got another refurbished one. Um, you know, if I had a choice, I probably would have gotten like, um, you know, used one OEM used from eBay or whatever, but just did not have the time for that. So popped it in 
Everything works now. Everything works fine at this point. Um, I'm just hoping that, you know, this doesn't happen again until like 150,000 miles down the line, crossing my fingers on it or whatever, because it took me a couple hours to change it up. It took me a couple hours for, I wasted a lot of time on this actually. Um, and uh, that was probably, I'm, I'm, I'm down to two, two toes from AutoZone at this point. Um, I think I got the golden membership or whatever, but I got I'm down to two toes from AutoZone at, at uh, two toes from Triple A at this point. Um, anyway, anyway, I hope this has helped you guys out as far as you know. If you guys are in the same situation, I really hope this has helped you guys out in some way. If it has, please give me a thumbs up. If you guys have a comment, please leave a comment. Please give me a thumbs up, guys. All right. Um, take care.